A three foot long giant viper? Yikes! A dad in England who was bitten by a giant viper that slithered into his kid's stroller is now out of intensive care after fighting for his life. 27 year old Josh Rose was picnicking at a park with his two sons, his sister, and her husband when he spotted a giant viper underneath his son's stroller. As he attempted to remove the reptile, the snake, reportedly a common European viper, sank its fangs into Rose's right index finger. Ouch! Within minutes, Rose went into anaphylactic shock. He later said he felt paralyzed and was even foaming at the mouth. A passerby was able to beat the vicious reptile away with a wooden stick. Paramedics soon arrived at the scene and spent an hour thinning Rose's blood and pumping him with adrenaline after his heart rate dropped to four beats per minute. Rose was taken to a hospital where he was placed in intensive care. His family says they believe he only had minutes to live after he was bitten. But fortunately, timely medical assistance and 24 hours of intensive hospital treatment saved Rose's life and he was sent home to his kids. Wonder if he'll ever go on a picnic again. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Beware of those snakes, people. Crikey! Horse watches a python chowing down. Gnarly photos of a seven meter long python eating a wallaby in Queensland, Australia have gone viral. Known as scrub python, these guys commonly chow down on smaller creatures. But hey, it was New Year's Day and Mr. Snake wanted to try something with uh, a little extra bounce. And how exactly he got his fangs on this marsupial is anybody's guess, because wallabies bounce around at pretty high speeds. Amusingly, a nearby horse is also pictured watching the snake feast, and this curious equine went in for a really close look at the action. The images were taken by Bernie Worldsford. He told ABC it took the python three hours to swallow the wallaby. Wow. Ah, the perils of gluttony. Karma came swiftly for one voracious python who got screwed over by his dinner and ended up dying for it. After gorging itself on a whole canine, the six foot long reptile tried to slither out of a grassy lot in Nigeria. But halfway through, its doggy bump got wedged in between two iron rods and just wouldn't budge. With no way to squeeze itself out, the snake remained in the tight spot for several hours and was dead by the time a local man discovered it. Shocked at seeing such a huge animal, the man called a few more people to inspect the greedy snake and make sure it had gone to serpent heaven. Once the python's body was freed and its stomach cut open to reveal the doggy dinner, into the fire it went. See ya, slithers! Best cut down on whole foods in your next life, eh? Wouldn't want to live in that house. After being rattled by a slithery surprise on Tuesday, a family in Abilene, Texas, quickly realized their unwanted house guests brought friends. Lots of them. The family's young son had gone to the bathroom that morning and found a big clump in the toilet bowl that was definitely not poop. Nope, today y'all get a rattlesnake. It was an adult, alive, and slithering out of the bowl, prompting the boy's mom to kill it with a shovel. They called a snake removal company, who deduced that the serpent had gotten in through a relief pipe. It wasn't alone, either. There were 13 chilling in the storm cellar, and 10 more under the house, all of them western diamondback rattlesnakes. Well, sh**. Fortunately, all 24 snakes were found and caught. The relief pipe has also been sealed, which hopefully means no more venomous surprises during toilet time. Though it really wouldn't hurt to check before you go. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Pregnant mom tries to save son by sucking out rattlesnake venom. A very pregnant North California mother put herself and her unborn baby at risk when she acted on her motherly instincts and tried to save her snake-bitten son by sucking the venom out. Jacqueline Caramaza, who's due any day now, was walking back home along Folsom Bike Trail with her son Vinny. When the four-year-old stopped, thinking he accidentally stepped on a pile of dog poop. But the hissing noise coming from the brown pile quickly made it clear he was mistaken, as it next bit little Vinny on his foot before taking off into the grass. Karamaza quickly took off her son's shoe and spotted two puncture marks, suddenly realizing that little Vinny had stepped on a baby rattlesnake. As the venom made its way into the young boy's bloodstream, his leg quickly turned purple and began to swell up. 
Karamaza, fearing for her son's life, says she next began sucking the venom out of her son's foot, copying an old move she'd seen on a classic Western TV series, Bonanza. Luckily, the venom Karamaza tried to suck out of her son's leg didn't spread to her or her unborn son. Tomo viewer beware. Wildlife experts strongly advise against trying this at home. Instead, wash the affected area with soap and water and get medical assistance pronto. Little Vinny spent two days in the hospital but is now at home recovering well. Even if his mom's Wild West influence technique didn't ultimately save him, the sheer length to which a very pregnant Karamaza clearly demonstrates, she's one very badass mama. In Australia, not even the pythons are safe. Extremely rare footage of a brown snake eating a carpet python has been captured on film, where else but down under. The incident was filmed on January 2nd at a suburban house near Brisbane in the state of Queensland. It shows a deadly brown snake taking several leisurely hours to devour his less fortunate fellow serpent, presumably after a fight to the death. Brown snakes are the world's second most venomous land snake and are responsible for about half of all human deaths from snake bites in Australia. The non-poisonous carpet python? Well, not so much. The incredible scene was discovered by fearless snake-catching duo Norman and Sally Hill. Sally filmed on her cell phone as her husband coaxed the brown snake into a bag. Norman made sure not to interrupt the feeding session so the python wasn't regurgitated. Apparently there's an old saying in Australia that if you've got a carpet python you won't have a brown snake, but on this evidence, that's just a myth. In fact, Sally reckons the brown snake population is on the rise down under, which could be increasing competition for food. It might have taken three hours, but eventually the brown snake finished his meal and was then removed from the house. Usually brown snakes eat frogs, birds, rats, and mice, but according to the Australian Museum, the species is known to be cannibalistic in captivity and can prey on snakes of a similar size. Which just goes to show that in deadly Australia, even some of the biggest predators can sometimes become the prey. Man refuses to go to the hospital and dies from snake bites. A Missouri woman awoke to find her boyfriend dead after he was twice bitten by a snake and refused treatment. On Friday, 37-year-old Gilbert DeLeon and his girlfriend began their holiday weekend with a dip in the James River. DeLeon yelled out to his girlfriend he'd been bitten while in the water. When he got out of the river, the couple discovered he'd actually been bitten twice, once on each leg. DeLeon ignored his girlfriend's pleas to go to the hospital because he said he couldn't afford the bill. Instead, he tried to squeeze the venom out himself and went to bed. During the night, DeLeon had difficulty breathing but again refused to seek medical help. Sadly, his girlfriend awoke the next morning and found he died in his sleep. A cottonmouth is the only venomous water snake in Missouri, and the size of the fang marks indicates a snake that bit him was small, experts said. If you're bitten by a snake, you should immediately go to the hospital, doctors recommend.